hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i will show you how you can get a free out the pay without you paying any money or you linking your credit card to any website uh, i've been using this out before for like two or three weeks now and it, it has been working well for me so i'm going to show you the tips and update and where you can get it from adam you guys should notice that this this rdp is only for us location it is not available for other location except for us okay so without any further ado let's get started so the first thing you are going to do is go to google and type ng ng rok go to google and type ng rok so after you type it you come here and you sign up you're going to sign up in your account okay and you wait for it to load so i'm also i'm, I'm still waiting i'm having i think i'm having a trouble oh, you sign up as a new user so let me fill up my details i already have an account before but for tutorial keys i'm going to sign up a new one for you guys to see uh, you sign up my details you put your email password it requires 10 characters so you are going to put your name your email and the password you want to use to log in and you verify me by reporting it so let's accept now you can also use github to sign in also So after you sign up the account finish and um, everything next thing you are going to do is to come to this your authentication code and you copy this code you make sure you copy this code somewhere so after you copy it you are going to open your github if you are new to github so, but you just create an account and you sign in and that's all and if you are your old member you can just the so you just log in after you log in this is the next place you are going to click you are going to click on this new repository after you click on that so you give your repository name so let me just see test so it's available so and you make sure this is not in public it's in private um, you click on create repository after you click on create repository next thing that we are going to do is come to settings um make sure you 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 practice all these things step by step for you not to get lost or something so after you click on settings you are going to scroll down and come to secret and variable and you click on action after you click on action you are going to click on new repository secret so you are going to write a code here and this is the code this code is simple i'm going to just write it there ngrock underscore underscore token and um, the code we copied from here earlier you are going to paste it here okay and you add the secret so after you are done adding secrets you go to you come use the scroll bar up and you come to this action so after that you after you come here you are going to see this this blue test and you click it set up a new web flow yourself What you need to do here is that we, we need to paste the codes so i've i've did the code but i'm going to give you the website that you can get this code this name of the website so i'm, I'm going to drop it in the comment section show you are just going, going to copy the code you copy the code from here and um you paste it inside here and that's all so after you are done pasting it you click comment changes but for you it can show another thing but just click on the green button oh after you are, after you click on that it's going to bring you to this page the next thing you are going to do is click on action you are going to see this you are going to see this if you are seeing two two workflow you make sure you click on the first one and um 
after you see this one you click on this create dot main yml right click right, we are going to click on build so the next thing we are going to do here is we need to come to our our dashboard here for ingroku and then we click on endpoints so you click on after you click on it it's going to bring this page and you're going to click on this stop so you copy this thing from here but do not copy everything you stop at this it before the slash you make sure you st you stop before the slash so that is our ip address for the rdp so i'm just going to paste it in my rdp here so i'm just going to open my rdp and then paste the what you copy there yeah so the next thing that, <coughs> that we need to do now is to come back to our github you scroll down and you click it and you click here so you copy this oh, sorry did a mistake you click here so after you wait for you to create so if but eventually your thing is this thing is loading for more than two seconds just refresh your refresh your browser just refresh your browser is going to load. so we click on this after I click on this we are going to see so you copy this name runner admin you copy it this what is this is the default username for everyone so you paste it click on continue so we copy the password to when you paste it inside so you click on ok all right oh you click on everything now you set the default thing so it's going to open for you asap so that's how you can set up a free rdp it's you using free resources no credit card no not nothing is allowed and um you guys notice that it opens a terminal for us so do not close the terminal at all at all just minimize it because if you close it it's going to close the, the rdp also so that means i want to check the ram you can see the ram the is 7 gig ram adam that's enough for you to power up everything one but let me tell you guys that do not use it for something powerful just your fiber your facebook account and them um, or like something light food that is you should use it for and also you should not close these two things do not close these two things as long as you want to use the rdp if you close it this rdp2 is going to close okay so do not close it if you want to use it you open it if you close it you're going to close back if if this content help you you know one or each other we don't forget to click the like button and also share to your friend that needs this kind of stuff also thank you guys bye